right, time for the next game in the Blackwell series. My assumption is we are back to the present day. Hello? Yep. Anybody there? You really expecting an answer? I was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. Uh, no, no tutorial. Joey, the door is locked. Yeah, I can see that. Looks like it's up to me. I wonder if that was in the last game. Can I still- oh, I can still use tab. That's fine. Hmm, charming. Well, what do you see? Nothing. Yet. Indeed. I'll see if there's a way to open that door. Mm. Does it want a hug? Bitch, it might. He looks different in every game. Ooh, what's this? I should probably take a closer look before messing with it. Looks like a paper clip. Looks like a paper... Hey, Dollface, I got a present for you. Joey, a paper clip just blew past my shoe. It's all yours, darling. What do I do with this? I don't know if I like Try the opening the door one. with it. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? The door is locked. It's a door. It's an Really? I have no idea how to do this. Just keep trying, darling. It's an old door. It shouldn't be any trouble. It keeps slipping. This isn't going to... work. Oh, ye of little faith. No ghosts. Not yet. You think something's coming? Not sure. I feel... something. Might as well take a look around first, just in case. Indeed. There's nothing on there but dust. Yes, let's check the drawers. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Looks like an obituary. Mm, Alan Raken of Raken Publishing and Supply was found dead yesterday afternoon. Witnesses saw Raken fall from a great height, landing on the sidewalk outside of his office building at 354 West 80th Street. Officers at the scene ruled the death of suicide. What the fuck kind of obituary is that? Found an obituary for an Alan Raken who committed suicide. His body was found. I can't move the desk. It's too heavy. I didn't ask Looks you like to an move old it. desk. I'm not opening the window. It's pouring outside. Whatever, let's Joey. Talk. This had better be important, sweetheart. That's all for now. Sure. Whatever. Let's go. Hey, think we're done? Not yet, dear. Let's poke around some more. Relatives of yours, Joey? Huh? You know, the spooky sheet. I don't get it. Never mind. Looks like the workers left this one behind. Either that or they put it up before leaving. What am I gonna find? Wait, is that him? A ghostly hand? Oh, Joey. Yeah? I think I found it. Well, will you look at that? What's he doing out there? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. What are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. All right, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. I think I like our amp better. Hello. Stay back. I mean it. I'll do it. I'm here to help. Help? <laughs> Why would you want to help me? You just seem like a guy who could use some. You don't know anything about me. Well, let's change that. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Don't come any closer. 
I swear, I'll jump. Jump? You're here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to do. Hey, are you I Alan Riken? It's been a while, you might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no. Just here for an old friend. Okay. I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? Listen, Alan. Concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem... strange? Out of place or off kilter? No. You don't remember falling? Falling? No! Of course not! I came out here and stayed. I haven't jumped yet. Right, right. Never mind. Listen, Alan. Concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem... strange? Out of place or off kilter? No. You don't remember... falling? Falling? I came out- I haven't- Right. Surely things can't be all that bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? To have everything you loved and struggled for just vanish? I know something about yeah. that. Yeah. Then you know what I'm going through. So what happened, Alan? What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. When it happened, I lost everything. Everyone deserted oh, me. Oh, these ain't big ass hourglass. Were friends. Hourglass. Even Sandra. Like stop. Sandra. My wife. Where is your wife? She left. She won't even talk to me. I just get phone calls from her lawyer. I thought she'd stick by me. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Hey, your wife's inside. Really? Yeah, she wants to talk to you. I don't believe you. Come on, now's your chance to win her back. Well, all right. There she is. That's my wife? That's Sandra? Wife? Sure, don't you recognize her? It's hard to see clearly for some reason. Is that red hair? She dyed it. Go on, talk to her. Sandra? Is that really you? Indeed. Uh, Sure. Sure, it's me. I'm Sandra. Why are you here, Sandra? Well, uh... I came to laugh at you, Alan. What? What? You're pathetic. Why do you think I left? I just wanted to look down on you one more time, just to confirm what a big loser you are. You're right. Hey, you gonna let her talk to you like that? Huh? Stand up for yourself, man! Stand up for myself? You gonna let people push you around all your life? You're right. You're right! Let her have it. You know what, Sandra? Screw you! I'm broke, yeah. The business is gone, yeah. Life gets tough once in a while. A marriage is a partnership, Sandra. You certainly were happy to stick around when things were good. Yeah, when I was bringing home 200 grand a year, I wasn't such a loser. Damn! But when I'm in trouble, you're nowhere to be found. But you know what? You were just dragging me down. Without you around, I'm going to do even better. I might not be much, Sandra, but I'm better than you. You're not worth dying over. Get out of here. Bravo. That felt good. Quite a rush, huh? I feel like I can do anything. Like I've got a second chance. Uh... First thing I'm going to do is buy back this office. 
Yeah, about that. I made some mistakes before. <laughs> I <laughs> won't right, make them again. Uh, I might have fallen once, but... But... Wait. I fell, didn't I? I remember now. I'm sorry. You're not really my wife, are you? No, I'm not. I went out onto the ledge. And I slipped. I don't know why I went out there, but I wasn't going to jump. I was confused. For some reason, it seemed like the right thing to do. Stupid. Stupid. What a stupid way to die. Hey, what happened to that can-do attitude of yours? It makes no difference now, does it? Maybe not to anyone else, but it does to you. Huh. Maybe you're right. So what do I do now? Just take a hold of this. Okay. Do it. Mac. Yeah, at least like her thingy right here looks cooler than her odds. Oh, he didn't even talk to me. Whatever. Another day, another satisfied spook. I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? Yeah, although... What? Isn't there something we're supposed to do tonight? I don't think so. I feel like we're forgetting something. I'd ignore that feeling if I were you. Those are fine where they are. Just a bunch of old articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I don't know why I kept them. I hated working there. Ugh. 7 p.m. The Park Gallery with Nishanti. Oh, crap. What time is it? 7.15? Damn it! She's going to kill me! What's your problem? The gallery opening, don't you remember? She invited us to go. Us? Alright, me. But you're still coming. You really want to go to some stupid gallery? We're going. I'm not flicking out on her again. It's not nice. Fine. Whatever. Do what you like. It's not like I have a choice. i to find the address. Because this hooker uses a computer. No. Oop. What was it? Park Gallery? Here we go. The Park Gallery. It's on 18th Street by 10th Avenue. <sighs> Let's go and get this over with. I'm ready if you are. It's about time. Let's scram. Wow, I feel cultured already. Shh! Hi, are you here for the opening? Yes. Indeed. Great! But I'm sorry, I think you came on the wrong night. The public opening's in two days. Tonight's a private showing. 
Oh no, I'm with someone. Nishanti Sharma? Is she here? Really? Let me check. Nish? Nish? Yes? Someone here says she knows you. That must be Rosa. It's all right, Josie. She's with me. Okay, thanks. Sorry about that. You know how it is. Sure. Anyway, I'm Josie Park, and this is the Park Gallery. Man, she's clever. I bet she came up with that all by herself. Go on in. Have fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Hi, sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it. How'd you find the place? The internet. Oh, of course. I should really try using it one of these days. I know I've been kind of flaky lately. Oh, don't worry about that. No need to stress on my account. Besides, you look exhausted. Are you all right? I'm fine. All right, if you say so. So, who's your friend? I'm sorry, that was rude of me. This is Monique Need. Stallman. Monique, this is my neighbor, Rosa. The one I was telling you about. You were talking about me? She was just telling me that she had a famous writer for a neighbor. Famous? I'm hardly famous. I haven't had anything published yet. She writes ghost stories, Monique. Nish, please. Go on, tell her. It's hardly the time or place. What's wrong? Oh, Monique here has a fascinating ghost story to tell. Really fascinating, I wouldn't you call say? it fascinating, per se. Please, it sends shivers down my spine. Wait until you hear it. It's about Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons? The actor? Nish, please. Sorry, Monique, just getting carried away. I don't know away. why that name sounds really familiar. I would like to hear the story, actually. See? I told you. Well, all right. But let's not talk about it here. Here's my card. If you want to talk, drop by my office tomorrow. We can discuss it in private. Thanks. I'll drop by. Thanks for inviting me. I'm glad you could make it. For a while, I was worried that I'd be here all by myself. But Monique was interesting company. So, how are you doing? Oh, you know, same old thing. Practicing my flute, walking the dog, trying to get out more. Although this weather isn't making it easy. I think I'll browse around. Sure, Rosa. Enjoy yourself. Hi, Nishan. Hello, Ro I think I'll- Sure, Ro Even though I had to fucking click on her or whatever. I don't think Josie would like that. Hi there. Josie Park, was it? Yeah, that's me. And you are? Rosangela Blackwell. Rosangela? What a neat name! Anyway, nice to meet you. You have some interesting pieces here. Yeah, interesting's the word. You like them? Sure. Did you hear that, Claude? Yeah. He's convinced that nobody will understand his work. She said she liked them, not that she understood them. Oh, you. Pay no attention. So, you're the artist? Yeah. This is Claude Erden, my discovery. Some discovery? I've been painting on your street corner for eight years. <laughs> yes, and I've seen you improve. When I got the funding to open this gallery, I knew Claude would be my breakout artist. We're having the public opening in two days. You should come. Don't count on it, lady. So, are you Josie Park, as in the Park Gallery? Yep, this place is mine. We just opened. Well, technically we open in two days, but it's my gallery. If I say we're open, then poof, <laughs> we're open. Yeah, okay, great. Ooh, watch out. She's so sharp, she might cut herself. I agree. So, you're a friend of Nishanti's? Oh, Nish? Isn't she marvelous? She comes to all the art events. That's how I know her. Well, I'm going to look around some more. Sure, have fun. Whatever, let's be out. Rosa, you're not leaving now, are you? Um... We were just about to get started on the wine. Why don't you join us? Come on, come on, let's get out of here. Well, please stay. We hardly see enough of each other as it is. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Fantastic. Come on, Josie. Yeah, I'm There's a five of us Time here. That drunk. means it's a party. Pour more of that wine and let's get it started. <sighs> Damn, this old lady can party, huh?
Oh my head. What happened? How did I get here? Is this how your generation treats the duty? What? Yeah, the who hell are, are you? you? Someone who has been here far too long. I don't understand. It does not matter. We will like meet again soon. Like, it, it looks Continue similar. your sleep. You will forget day. me when you wake up. Your time will come soon. I just pray that you are ready. Praise a bitch. Well, look who's up. Ugh. Enjoyed the free booze a little too much, huh? Blech. Clear the Indeed. cobwebs, kid. We've got work to do. Yeah, I know. I have nobody to call. I rarely do these days. I'm ready if you are. It's about time. Ugh, I guess we gotta go to that chick's house. Or not. Oh, probably had to view it I first. know that area. That's Astor Place. Now we should be able to go to her. Come in. Hi, Monique? Oh, hello. You're an Ashanti's friend, aren't you? The writer? Yeah, that's me. I almost didn't recognize you standing upright. Huh, <laughs> right. I don't usually drink that much. Well, we all make mistakes. I thought I saw- oh, there is something there. It's a cat. I saw a cat on the window ledge outside. Oh, her? The company adopted her. She belonged to Frank. Shouldn't you let her in? So, what do you do here at CubeStar? I'm the executive producer. In a nutshell, I make sure everything gets done, on time, and under budget. She whips everyone into shape, huh? I like her. So, you have a ghost story, yes, is that tell right? Yes, about your oh, story. Yes. It's really nothing. Kind of embarrassing, really. Nishanti said it had to do with Frank Lyons. Yes, it was all over the news. You know what happened. I know he died, but that's all I know. Yes, he's dead. I saw him die. He died while filming his last scene. It was tragic and all, but in the end we had to finish the movie. We found a lookalike to complete the scene and then released it. That should have been the end of it. But the film was a smash hit. Really? It was that good? No, it wasn't. People only turned up because a man's death was attached to it. For years, we tried to create a moneymaker. And this is how we did it. Be careful what you wish for, Rosangela. That's all I'll say. So what happened next? Next? I hear him. You hear him? Over in Central Park, near the Gothic Bridge. It's where he died. I pass the area every morning when I go jogging. I can swear I hear him. Calling me. Jog really? somewhere else. It's like he's... Well, it's probably just my own guilty conscience. We profited from his death. There's no denying that. But what could we do? Give the money to charity? We have investors to pay back. Anyway, that's my ghost story. Take it or leave it. I say we take it. We haven't been to the park in a while. It's just weird that she would make you come there and tell you. Can Please don't I... close the window. There's a reason why it's open. Doesn't even... Oh, it is open. The cat just don't want to come in. I don't think Monique would appreciate me taking them. Bet you could have just looked at them. The Gothic Bridge! Um, hi there. Oh, I that's knew right. you'd come. Are you Frank Lyons? Um, oh, haha, ha, very funny. Let's get back on track, huh? <clears throat> I knew you'd come. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. 
look, I just want to talk to you. Are you sure that's right? Yes, just for a few minutes. No, I don't think that's right. Let's try again, shall we? What are you talking? <clears throat> I knew you. Uh. Never. Yeah, I think you need to practice. Damn it, where is that woman? Hello? Oh, hey, you with the company? Company? Oh, I guess you're not. They told me to meet them out here. I guess they're late. Are you Frank Lyons? You recognize me? Sure. That's... thank you. That means a lot. Hey, I live to please. Sort of. So, Frank, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just waiting to finish up. Just one scene to go and I'm done. Finally. Done is the word, yeah. Hmm? Never mind. Could you tell me the last thing you remember? What do you mean? I've just been hanging out here. And before that? I was... hmm... Funny thing. Yes? The Minetta. The Minetta? The Minetta. Yeah, I was there. I'm always there. Okay, crazy. So, we're on a movie set? Yep, the film is called Water Under the Bridge. Really? Yeah. Actually, I'm probably not supposed to tell you that, but we're hardly Paramount Pictures or anything. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, lips are sealed. Are you sure this is a movie set? Yeah. Where are all the lights, equipment, cameras? You know, I'm not sure. They should be on their way. I don't know what's keeping them. Listen, Frank, you seem like a swell guy, but I have to be honest. You're dead. What? I mean it. You've been haunting this area for months now. Ha! Very funny. My career might have one foot in the grave, but it's not dead yet. My ship will come in. You'll see. So, tell me about yourself, Frank. Oh, I'm just an actor. I just walk and talk the way they want me to. <laughs> oh, come on. There's gotta be more to you than that. I don't really need anything else. I'm not in the magazines, but I think I'm okay with that. I just want to finish what I start. Whatever. Well, see you around. Sure. Last shoot of the film, then we're done. I assume we have to look up that place. I guess there's a club, whatever, I don't know. Uh, I'm ready if you are. All right. It's a lot of pictures. Hi. Afternoon. What can I get for you? Oh, no. I'm not here to drink. Not yet, anyway. I was hoping you could answer some questions for me. Really? Yeah. Is that a problem? No, it's just that this never happened to me before. You always see bartenders being questioned in the movies, but it never actually happens. You a detective? Something like that. Cool. How can I help? Frank Lyons. I was wondering if you've seen Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons, the actor? Didn't he die a few months ago? Yeah, he did. I think he might have come here before he died. Hmm, well, we get all sorts in here, but I don't think we've ever seen him. Are you sure you've never seen Frank Lyons come in here? Yeah, I'm quite sure. I think he's telling the truth. Hi there. Sure. Are you sure he was never- Maybe it was somebody else's shift. No, I'm positive. See all those photos on the wall? We take photos of anyone remotely famous who walks in here. So if Frank Lyons came in, we'd have his picture somewhere. So Frank Lyons never came in here? Nope. If he did, we'd have his picture somewhere.
Hello, Frank. Oh, hey. Funny thing, I went to the Mineta. They never heard of you. Why would they? You said you went there all the time. I've never heard of the place. You told me you were famous there. Famous? Yeah, famous at the Mineta. The Mineta? I go there all the time. It's like my second home. Wait, it looks like he's but not you just said... Say, could you spare some money for the Joe Gould Fund? Joe Gould Fund? What's that? What's what? The Joe Gould Fund. I have no idea. But you just... You oh, just never mind. Out. Well... Sure. such as Joseph Mitchell. So this is the same thing, so the fund and that are the same. Oh, so I can't connect anything. Let's go. It's about time. Come in. Oh, hello. Again? Oh, Ilsa, you're back. Make yourself at home. You always do. Do I want to touch the cat? Hey, kitty. Ouch! She scratched me! Careful. That was Frank's cat. She's a mean one. Clearly. I'll do what does that ID tag of yours say? Oh, damn it! <laughs> hey, little fella. All right, Elsa. Let's see what's on your ID tag. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. Cute cat. Thanks, but she's not mine. She was Frank's. And just between you and me, she's not very friendly. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Sorry, no. Have you ever heard of a place called the Mineta? Sorry, no. The fuck do you know? Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. She really didn't notice that somebody was like distracting the cat. Locked. But of course. Which means he can go through it. Once again, it's up to the dead guy to sort things out. Be my guest. Ugh, what a mess. Maybe Wonder Frank had a cold before he died? At least I hope so. I don't want to think about what those tissues were for. What do you want me to do, bl I couldn't even if I wanted to. Frank's television. Cold and silent. Looks like a poster for a B-grade Arabian Nights flick. Frank Lyons has got top billing. It's a movie poster. Looks like hard-boiled detective schlock. Frank Lyons starred in it. This out. Looks like a Ooh, film I script. I might be able to pick that up. I knew you'd come. How did you know? I know you'd have. Well, listen, I have to tell you something. 
come on, the boat's going to leave any minute. I'm not going, I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? I said I'm not going. You're staying. Yes, I'm staying here with Tom. Oh no. Does it want a hug? Oh yeah. I duh. think this I'm is called a. Uh, it plays. Looks like Frank was a collect. I wonder what. Whatever. I guess that should be enough. You sure this guy was in pictures? He didn't even have a hot tub. Was he supposed to? If I was in pictures, I'd have a hot tub. Well, naturally. Although, I did find something interesting. What? That's great. There was a piece of paper just lying on a table. Do you remember what was on it? Of course I do. Yeah, I already Sounds like it. a film script. Anymore. Probably the last thing he worked on before he died. You ever hear these lines in a flick before? No. I haven't gone to the movie since, well, you. Eh, makes no difference. It's probably not important. But of course it's important. Nope, I can't- Oh, that's right, you gotta leave. Alright, so now I guess I can talk to him. What do you mean? No. What do you mean? Last shoot of the film, then we're done. Hi again. I knew you'd come. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. I'm not going. Not going? What do you mean you're not going? Uh. I, guess I said I'm not that. going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with, um... Wait, I think it was Tom. Tom. Tom? Tom? What's that idiot have that I don't? He's, uh... He's a good man, Zack. And he needs me. And what about me? You don't need me, Zack. You never did. Huh? That's not in the script. Wait, let's talk about this. Just forget me. Be free. Yvonne! Wait! Yvonne! Yvonne! Yvonne? Alright! Finished. Finally. Hey, Monique, when's the rap party again? Monique? Where is she? Where is... everybody? Hey, come on guys. This is weird. Where did everybody go? This isn't funny. So wait, can I talk to him now? Frank? Oh, Rebecca, thank God. We just finished the scene, right? So where did everybody go? I'm not Rebecca, Frank. What? Of course you are. Only Rebecca could have finished the scene. Something's not right. Something... Is not right. I was here filming the scene. Something happened. Here it comes. Oh, and now he I'm knows. dead, aren't I? Yeah. I'm a ghost and I'm haunting my last film shoot. That's so cliche. I'm sorry, Frank. I really am. So what now? Just relax, and take a hold of this. Okay, do it. Ow! I gotta work on my landings. It's so bright. It should hurt my eyes, but it doesn't. I don't think it's real light. I'm not sure what it is. It's beautiful. Just head towards it, Frank. That's all you need to do. You know... My very first acting role was a ghost. I was eight years old. We put on a Halloween play in the third grade. I played Scary Ghost Number Three. Funny the things you remember. It wasn't a bad life, was it? I might not have made it big, but I made it somewhere. How many can say the same, huh? Not many. Not many? No, oh, not many. Oh, snap! I've had a pretty She's good a bitch run. Like me. If it's my time to go, then it's my time. I just wish I knew who choked me to death. 
Yeah. Wait, what? You weren't choked, you had a heart attack. No, I was choked. I remember it distinctly. The news reports all said it was a heart attack. No disrespect, but I think I know how I died. The you large hands around my neck. You know you your don't shit. Don't forget a thing like that. Why would the press lie about how you died? I don't know. You'd think that they'd love a story about a murder. Funny. It doesn't even bother me. I think I'm ready to go. Wait, hold on a second. No can do. I gotta fly. See you around. And thanks. Just a few questions. Damn it. Dick. Graphical glitch. Huh? Yeah, right? What the hell is that? Uh... Hey, what the... I'm warning you. You? No, it can't be. I can still help you. No, oh, you're dead, aren't yeah. you? So She's many dead. Different clothes. So many blight upon the earth. Tell me something I don't know. Did you kill Frank? I helped him. I get no thanks. You want me to thank you? How about you buzz off? I can help you. You are still in pain. So much pain. No way. Not again. This ends now. Why do you resist? Resist? I'll show you resist. I see. <laughs> I know you. Punch you in the no face. I'm not gonna write. Lady, get off me. Joey? Clear off, kid. Get back. It's her. After all this time. Hey. You stay away from her, you hear me? Uh, Shouldn't she be missing an eye or something? Joey, who was that? <sighs> Trouble. Well? Well what? Who is she? Her. She's nobody's sweetheart. Just some spook. She attacked you, Joey. Why did she do that? I have no idea. You think I've got all the answers? Well, you're wrong. I'm just in the dark as you are. You're lying. You recognized her, and she knew you. Tell me, Joey, please. <sighs> yeah, I know her. She calls herself the Countess. She's from an old case, back when I was with your aunt. She was alive then, and just as crazy. Tell me. Look, it's late. You want to be up all night, or you want the short version? Tell me everything. We thought she was a raving loony at first. We'd see her on the we street, the ranting version. like a crazy woman. We were investigating these two ghosts. Both had been killed by an old woman. Didn't take much deduction to put two and two together. So she was killing people? Not exactly. No, she yeah, thought she was. she was freeing people. You see, she was a medium. A medium? Like me? Like Auntie? Yeah, only she didn't have a spirit guide. There was this reporter, Joseph Mitchell. Somehow they formed a bond. He didn't know it, but whoever he wrote about, she would go and kill. She was freeing their spirits, which is what you mediums why this do best. Bitch is back when but last they were still time alive. Like, oh, see her she didn't well, seem she, like, to realize still fucking barely alive that. In the end, she look. tried to free your Aunt Lauren. So, we stopped her. You stopped her? How? Killed the we bitch. We just did. So what now? Her spirit is seeking revenge? I don't think so. Why now? Why all this time? Besides, I saw her die. There was no ghost. So she's not a ghost? I don't know what she is. Let's talk about this in the morning. Right now I'm taking a hot shower and going to bed. Yeah, you do sure, that. Sure, sure. I'll hold the fort. Uh. Did we get really drunk? Poor deluded man, enthralled to a madness that even he could not explain. A madness called the Countess. I... I know you. We have spoken before, but it is not important. But hush, aren't you tired? You need to rest. Tired? Shh, just sleep. That's it, sleep. Tomorrow you will wake up energized and refreshed. You will not remember me, but don't worry. We will meet very shortly. That's stupid. Why the fuck would you come into the dream just to say that? What a hooker. Good morning. 
You're perky today. Sleep well? Yeah, I did. I've been thinking. Too much has happened for this to be mere coincidence. Indeed. What do you mean? In the gallery, there was a painting. A painting of her. Really? I knew it looked familiar, but I didn't recognize it until now. What did it look like? Why don't we head over and you can take a look for yourself. Alright, let's see real quick. Alright. And I'm going to take a quick break. I will be back in five minutes.